Uh, hey guys. Uh, so I'm back again. I'm getting I'm getting pretty used to saying that. Um, I wasn't gonna put out this video, but um, I feel like I owe it to people who you know support me. Uh, all of you guys that watch and people that like subscribe on Twitch and donate and whatever. I think I owe you at least an explanation of where I'd suddenly dropped off the face of the earth to. Um, especially after I just said I'd come back. I only played for a couple of months and then I sort of just became a non-existent person again. Um, but yeah, where I've been is, is in a few places. So obviously I was doing, uh, uni this semester and pretty much coinciding with the start of uni is when my time started to just like not exist. Um, which is when I sort of stopped speedrunning. The time that I would have been spending was going towards uni. Uh, obviously I think that's a pretty, uh, understandable situation um and then just after that a, f a few weeks into it my brother got covid and that resulted in an isolation and coming out of that isolation my body did a strange thing it was the first time i'd stopped doing anything physically for like even just a short period like a week um and because of that certain uh injuries and things that i had uh very young read their head again um and so to put it really bluntly coming out of that um that isolation i played a tournament a tennis tournament the very first day out of isolation and then after that i could barely walk for a week which obviously you know i'm, I'm a very fit person to put it bluntly so to have something like that happen was a real rude shock and to have that stuff come back was really surprising um and so what happened basically was I went, I saw some, I spoke to some doctors to figure out what was happening. We couldn't really figure out why it was coming back. Uh, I spoke with a surgeon and a few people. We were considering doing surgery, uh, but in the end, we decided the risks were too high. Um, and yeah, the after about a month and a half, the uh, symptoms somewhat started started to subside. Uh, I am also in talks with physios, I have semi-regular appointments, and I'm constantly going through, essentially, physical rehab, which is really weird to say when there's not, like, one just steadfast injury that I did. Um, but yeah, uh, that's where I've been. All of my time has been uni, and then, essentially, physical rehab was taking up a lot of my time, and then after I was feeling okay again, uh, I'm back into tennis uh as much as i can now that my body's up to it again so i'm back to five days a week and some of those days are huge like sundays i train four or five hours straight so you know you can imagine just how much of my time is being sapped and that's excluding when i am coaching as well so you know because obviously my job is to coach so a lot of my time has just been sapped away but uh i am taking leave from uni for at least a year to pursue an offer that i got uh, and because of that, I'm going to have a bit more time to do what I want. And so I've decided to come back to speedrunning now that I've got time. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I've been. Um, for those of you that that's all you really cared, feel free to click off now. But like, yeah. Uh, the other sort of reason, um, there was one more, is that as I sort of explained in my last, you know, I'm back video, um, uh, I kind of just was really burnt out. Uh, in that I'd done like three minute barriers in a row in no IMG that were like all meant to be the last minute barrier. Uh, or at least I'd been a part of it and I'd grinded, you know, I was not record level, but I was there and, you know, developing the game when 25 happened. And then of course, when 24 happened and then during the 24 time period is when I got my first record and then... The 23 was meant to be my last record, and then the 22 was meant to be my last record. And now, of course, we got down to 2208, and I'm getting close to 21. And I was just like, man, I need a break. And so I sort of just let myself stop. I stopped, my, I stopped forcing myself to play and just didn't come back until I felt like it. And that turned into six months. Uh, and that's how, you know, six months have passed where I've barely touched no IMG. Um, I've touched a few other categories, but not really much no IMG, and that's sort of the other reason why. Um, so yeah. Now I feel like playing again, so I'm coming back. I got that record within an hour of playing yesterday, uh, on no FPM, so that's pretty sick. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, look, in the background. Oh, other way. 
you can see some of my rehab tools <laughs> um so yeah uh if you're wondering how i'm doing physically uh i'm going to include some footage at the end of this video uh, of me playing tennis so you can sort of see how i'm doing physically uh i'm not where i was i'm not playing as strong or as solid um and especially my lateral movement is pretty bad as you'll see uh in the footage at the end i'm really struggling to move uh across um and i'm struggling to rotate on my knees specifically my shoulder is not rotating properly uh because of injury and those are sort of the big things that I've been talking to the physio about. Um, but yeah, so if you're curious, stick around and watch some uh, watch some tennis, uh, some footage of me. Otherwise, you know, uh, I guess I'll see you in stream or something. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 